Welcome back, YouTubers. Um, I steal that from uh, Allie Knight, if you watch her trucking series. Uh, this is, what, the 15th of March. I believe she's on a cruise. So uh, the hull, you'll see, is back on its bottom again. Uh, it's been a full two weeks, about an hour ago. Uh, the clock would say two hours, because we just had the daylight savings time last night. Uh, but uh, it's been a full two weeks cure on the paint and it seems hard as a rock and it's I think this stuff's going to be like gel coat kind of like LPU but you know the next level up and I just opened up my uh, priority mailbox from uh, Chuck down at Duckworks so I actually have Sandra probably packed it and I've got the new uh, polypropylene uh, hatches they got and uh, the seat all line and these are a screw out as opposed to the quarter turn so uh, normally I use quarter turn uh, but those things can be such a pain in the butt to open uh, and then lock but let me uh, neither that nor there let me uh, go set up and get my drill out and start to, and then my pilot and start putting the, uh, the holes in these things and then I'll seal them off and then I've got some uh, fittings that need to go on the mass partner, uh, a turning block, and some jam cleats. So we'll come back on those things. I had to get my rasp out and open this hole, this one and that one up a little bit. It's, it's always nice to, when you're cutting out the holes, to have the hatches on hand, or at least one hatch of that size on hand, so you can test the holes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill them, but before I, I put the uh, goop around them and seal them, I'm going to paint the air, area, give it one coat of, uh, of paint uh, on, the, on the bare wood just to uh, seal it off. As in one ring to bind them all, we'll stick in one screw to... Alignment. One thing I want to make too sure too is that it. Uh, Out, there's no binds. On these things. Another thing you want to do is, or it helps, you don't have to do it, but it helps, is put a piece of tape on the leading screw, either the up or the ones going to the bow. So that way I know when I put it back in, in case there's any distortion in the holes that it goes back in the way that I drilled the pattern out. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of uh, paint on the inside here where I, uh, I have the bow compartment hatch sealed. I've used some of my sealer here on the bottom edge and I got it in place. Let me go ahead and get another one here. I didn't know if this thing was going to be solidified on me or not and so I, I squeezed out put some pressure on it and it squirted all over the table so now I'll just put a little bit of a bead a nice size bead right along in here I got our, I got our bead all around here now so I got our blue tape here to remember which way is forward. Get my arm out of the way. I'll use my drill driver because that's got a clutch in it as opposed to my And my thumb, as I've gotten older, has gone south on me. I'm a lefty too, so. Where's my 
it's always nice to get a full test to see how hard it was. off the hatch to got this aft hatch in and I uh, wanted to like I done on those other ones I wanted to pull the lid out just to see you know that it was going to come out easy and I start trying to undo the thing and I can't get it off it won't come off it won't come off it won't come off so I take it you know remove all the screws and I look around the edge and I'm I'm wondering what the hell's going on, and I, I see coming up out of the the edge here was, you know, the uh, the little gasket had gotten caught in there. It was all jammed up. Now it's uh, a little bit bigger than what the uh, opening is. So now I'm going to have to either get a new gasket from Chuck or a new lid. This I didn't expect this. This is his new polypropylene ones too. Uh, I haven't had any problems with the old ABS ones, so. Oh well, neither there. Let's get the uh, uh, mass partner and I'll show you what I did with it while I ruminate on, on this problem. If ain't another thing, it's one thing. So this is what we have here on the, uh, on the mass partner. I got my two inch hole for my, my mass. Usually I use a two inch uh, 065 wall thickness uh, aluminum tubing. And then I've got the two turning blocks and then, then the two cam cleats. One will be for the, uh, on this one because it's a, uh, well, a sprit sail or because I fly them as a gaffer. Uh, what This one I usually use as to uh, raise the, uh, no, yeah, no, this one I usually use to raise the sail up to the throat. And then this one will be the, uh, uh, the one that goes up, uh, that brings up the peak pole, or whatever they call it. I'm not in the names, it's just, you know, some people name things and some people use things. So, so that's what that is. Uh, I can't move this thing outside until I get that hatch, the new hatch ring. Either get a new hatch ring or uh, a new hatch. Uh, the difference between the new ones, these polypropylene ones and the ABS ones, the ABS ones had a square gasket and uh, I think I might like those better. <laughs> I don't know. New day and something interesting, the gasket, the old gasket, the original piece of crap Chinese gasket, uh, kind of shrank back down to the size but when you move it around, you know, the gasket, and I'll push it in from both sides, see? Lifts right up. Just poor quality rubber. So I was over at my hardware, my do-it store that has everything, hardware, and got a new O-ring. We'll slide this one on. It's a tight fit, so it shouldn't be a problem. And I was able to scrape all the schmutz off, so. There, we're back in business again. And I will go ahead and put some uh, silicone or something on it. Um, I'll go ahead and put this last hatch on. I've got to re-squirt the stuff on the back here and then put it in so. So we'll come back. Well, I've got the hatch in there again, and it spins off nicely with a little bit of silicone on the uh, on the gasket and then on the uh, on the thread. So, got that done. Well, we're going to call it quits on this one. Uh, Actually, all I have to do is uh, sand the tiller handle down or else make a new one and uh, re-varnish it. Uh, and then get this thing out of the barn. I'm probably going to have a little blurb on uh, the best way to size up the uh, mast and the boom and the, uh, the jib pole for that new sail is to actually rig it up on my old mast setup 
that I have for the uh, Granville Bay. Uh, and then I can rig the sail up and then measure uh, what I need to make the changes on for the new mast and well, the whole new rig for this boat and any of my 10 foot boats, 9 and 10 foot boats for that new 50 foot uh, 10 mark sail. So uh, we'll come back on that with another title. This is the end of modifying the Laura Bay and uh, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, I don't have the versatility of uh, moving the seat back and forth, uh, but I have other rowing hulls, even though this one rowed really nice. Uh, it's always nicer to have, if you're going to row a lot, to have a longer boat, at least a, a 12 foot boat. Even though I know the Nuthatch 10 is a real sweet rower, but it probably has the waterline length of a 12 foot boat. So, And then the OMP I think is my best rowing boat, the, the uh, 12 foot double ender. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We'll uh, come back and uh, start over with something else. Uh, and it's sunny outside. Tomorrow's St. Patty's Day. so. Gosh and be gory or whatever they say. <laughs>